You know your own degrees. Sit down. At first and last, the hearty welcome. Thanks to your majesty. Ourself will mingle with society and play the humble host. Our hostess keeps her state, but in best time we will require her welcome. Pronounce it for me, sir, to all our friends. For my heart speaks, they are welcome. See, they encounter thee with their hearts, thanks. Both sides are even. Here, I'll sit in the mist, be large in mirth, and on will drink a measure the table round. There's blood upon thy face. Tis Banquo's then. Tis better thee without than he within. Is he dispatched? My lord, his throat is cut, that I did for him. Thou art the best of cutthroats, yet he's good that did the like for Fleance. If thou distant, thou art the non peril. Most royal, sir, Fleance has escaped. Then comes my fit again. I had else been perfect, whole as the marble, founded as the rock, as broad in general as the casing air. But now I am cabined, cribbed, confined, bound into saucy doubts and fears. But Banquo is safe. Aye, my good lord, safe in a ditch he bides, with twenty trenched gashes on his head, the least a death to nature. Thanks for that. There the grown serpent lies, the worm that's fled hath nature that in time will venom breed. No teeth for the peasant. Get thee gone. Tomorrow we'll hear ourselves again. My royal lord, you do not give the cheer. The feast is sold that is not often vouched. Well, tis a making, tis given with welcome to feed where best at home. From thence the sauce to meet is ceremony. Meeting bear without it. Sweet remember embracer. <laughs> now, good digestion weight on appetite and health on both. Meet up to these big bodies. Here had we now our country's honor roofed with the graced person of our banquet present. Who may I rather challenge for unkindness than pity for mischance? His absence, sir, lays blame upon his faults. Please to your highness, to grace with your royal company. The table's full. Here's the place you reserved, sir. Where? Here, my lord. Was it that moved your highness? Which of you have done this? What, my good lord? Thou canst not say I did it. Never shake thy glory locks at me. Gentlemen, rise. His highness is not well. Sit, worthy friends. My lord is often thus, and hath been from his youth. Pray you keep seat. The fit is momentary. Upon a thought he will be again well. If, you mu if much you note him, you shall offend him and extend his passion. Feed and regard him not. Are you a man? Aye, and a bold one, that dare look on that which might appall the devil. Oh, proper stuff. This is the very painting of your fear. This is the air-drawn dagger which you said led you to Duncan. Oh, these flowers and the starts and posters, the true fear. Would well become a woman's story at a winter's fire, authorized by her grandam. Shame itself! Why do you make such faces? When all's done, you look but on a stool. Prithee, see there! Behold! Look! Lo! How say you? Why? What care I? If thou canst nod, speak to! If charnel houses and our graves must send those that we bury back, our monuments shall be maws of kites. What? Quite unmanned in folly. If I stand here, I saw them. Fie for shame! Blood hath been shed here now. I thought in time, 
Ere he remains to toot, purge the gentle wheel. Aye, and since too, murders have been performed too terrible for the ear. The time has been that when the brains were out, the man would die, and there an end. But now they rise again with twenty mortal murderers on their crowns and push us from our stools. This is more strange than such a murder is. My worthy lord, your noble friends do lack you. I do forget. Do not muse at me, my wor my most worthy friends. I have a strange infirmity, which is nothing to those that know me. Come, love and health to all. Then I'll sit down. Give me some wine. Fill full. I drink to the general joy of the whole table, and to our dear friend Banquo, whom we miss. Would he were here, to all in him we thirst, and all to all. Please end the pledge. Avant, and quit my sight. Let the earth hide thee. Thy bones are marrowless, thy blood is cold. Thou hast no speculation in those eyes which thou dost glare with. Think of this, good peers. But as a thing of custom, tis no other, only it spoils the pleasure of the time. What man dare, I dare, approach thou like the rugged Russian bear, the armed rhinoceros, or thy hearken tiger, take any shape but that, and my firm nerve shall never tremble, or be alive again, and dare me to desert with thy sword. If trembling I inhabit then, protest me the baby of a girl. Hence, horrible shadow, unreal mockery, hence. Why so being gone? Why so being gone? I am a man again. Pray you sit still. You have displaced the mirth, broke the good meeting, with the most admired disorder. And such things be, that overcome us like summer's cloud, without our special wonder. You make me strange, even to the disposition that I owe. When now I think you can behold such sights, and keep the natural ruby of your cheeks, when my is blanched and with fear. What's that? I pray you speak not. He grows worse and worse. Question enrages him. At once, good night. Stand not upon the order of your going, but go at once. Good night, and better health attend him. A kind good night to you all. He will have blood, they say. Blood will have blood. Stones have been known to move, and trees to speak. Augurs and understood relations have by maggot pies and, and chose, and rooks brought forth, the secret man of blood. What is the night? Almost it holds with the morning, which is which? How says that thou Macduff denies this person at our great bidding? Did you send to him, sir? I hear it, by the way. But I will send. There's not a one of them, but in this house I keep a servant feed. I will tomorrow, and betimes I will, to the weird systems. More shall they speak, for now I am bent to know, by the worst means, the worst. For mine own good, all causes shall give way. I am in blood, stepped in so far that, and I wait no more. Returning were as tedious as goer. Strange things I have in my head. That will to hand. Which must be acted, ere they may be scanned. You lack the seasons of all natures. Sleep. Come. Will to sleep. 
My strange and self-abuse is the initiate fear that once hard use. We are not yet but young indeed. 